Hi guys, I'm Kurt Anderson from Vancouver Fire Department. Uh, the following video is the Vancouver Fire Department pump and run tactic for structural protection in the urban interface. Before showing the tactic, I want to review the following. The three structural triage categories, five basic factors upon which you base your triage decisions, and four conditions that may mean the situation is hopeless. The structural triage categories are one, needing little or no attention. Two, needing prote protection, but savable. And three, those that are hopeless. The five basic factors upon which you base your triage decisions are one, the structure itself, the roof, is it combustible or is it non-combustible? Siding, is it combustible or non-combustible? Heat traps, uh, meaning decks, overhangs, vents. Position of building on the slope. Are you, are you at the top of a slope or inside a canyon where you could have high winds? Two is fuels. The size and arrangement. The proximity to the building. Wood piles. Yard accumulation. Three is the fire behavior, meaning the rate of spread, the topography that you're in. The weather. Four is the resources, the on-site resources, the kind and type that you have. Firefighter safety, meaning your ingress and egress routes, the tree canopy along the road, the slope of the hillside that the road go is along, and finally the smoke and visibility that you have. When it is hopeless, the fire is making significant runs. You'll see spot fires um, out ahead of the head of the fire. Your water supply, the roof involvement, if it's more than one quarter involved, it's, use, it's hopeless. Use common sense and good judgment. Triage is a logical process, not an answer or simple formula. It requires you to estimate the capabilities and availability of resources. You must base your decisions and probabilities and play the odds. The following video is a procedure for Vancouver Fire Department structural protection in the urban interface. water. Set her down.
water.